live and research. Oh, we're back live? Yeah. Okay. All right, we are back. Could anyone hear us before? Do we know if anyone could hear us before? Yeah. All right. We are starting over. We were on mute before, but we are here now. We're live. Special edition of Social Live with Reality Steve. Let's do this again. Yes. Take two. Uh, yeah. Can, the show I tell, must go can I tell my Mark Zuckerberg joke again? Yes, go tell I... the Mark Zuckerberg joke. <laughs> Yeah, I, I dress like Mark Zuckerberg today because I'm feeling a little under the weather, not full blown sick. Um, I can just feel. You should like just hold this. My, yeah. <laughs> I can just feel that my uh, my throat is a little bit scratchy. Sore. Yeah, that's about it. Well, if but, I get sick sitting next to you, I'm going to message you, you and you're going to have to send me uh, send me soup. Do you do any? Uh, Hand sanitizer before we sat down? I you... wash my hands so compulsively this flu season that my hands are dry. Like, they hurt. <laughs> so, I... But, knock on wood, this is some type of wood. I don't know what this is. I have not gotten the flu yet. And a lot mm. of people have here. Oh, there you go. Well, let's get to it, because people are waiting <clears throat> to know all about your spoilers from the last season of The Bachelor. <clears throat> and I know you have some inside information on this season as well. The Bachelorette is filming right now with yeah. Becca. Yeah. Do, actually, do you have anything you're going to break on today's episode that no one knows yet that you haven't tweeted? No. Nothing. <laughs> well, you know what? They're only a week into film. They started last Thursday. and what's So they're eight days into filming. Okay. They're on episode three right now. Um, there's nothing major other than... I mean, it's too early for me to even get any major information. There have been a couple public dates, but it's been stuff that's been out there that anyone, everyone has seen. Um, the only thing I can say that's really worth anything is she does have two NFL players on her season. Why do you think they did that? Um, she did say when she did Ellen that Michael Strahan is her celebrity crush. Mm. So maybe she has a thing for large black men. I don't know. I, I mean... I, it, it is kind of, I mean, now granted, the two NFL players, one is black and one is white, but maybe that has something to do with it, that she has an athlete type. Maybe that's what she's looking for. She likes athletes, all right. Um, it, it, I mean, the fact that she said that on Ellen and has said that in other interviews that Michael Strahan is her celebrity crush, and she ends up with two NFL tight ends on her season, it probably was, she probably does have that kind of type. Does that mean she's going to pick one of them? I don't know. Yeah, we'll it's, see. It's still too early. Um, she started with 28 guys. We're down to probably, um, we're in episode three, so probably went down to 21 or 22 the first night, and then the second row ceremony probably went down to 18 or 19. So my guess is we've got about 18 or 19 left. Um, there is a group date today that I will have information on later. It hasn't happened yet because we're on the East Coast. They're on the West Coast. Yes. Um, so if you want to file on my Twitter account, I will have information about today's group date. Um, and then... Uh, yeah, I mean, that's just, it's too early to anything major to have happened. Okay. You know? All right, well, let's give you a plug. Follow Steve on Twitter, at Reality Steve, and also on Instagram, yes. because yes. Steve needs to grow his Instagram following. Yeah. At Reality I, Steve I also. I just don't post anything. I don't post anything on Instagram. Well, like, we'll take some pictures here today. <laughs> we'll give you some content. Okay. We'll give you some new content. Let's get you a new headshot, a new Mark Zuckerberg headshot today. Yeah, yeah with, the, with the hoodie and everything. Yes, yeah. you're, you've got the whole social media, social fly vibe look going on today. Yeah. Well, one of the reasons why I love when you come on Social Live is because so many of our fans and followers who watch this show love The Bachelor. We're always talking about Bachelor news. I think I've brought you up on our show. How many times, Jules? A lot. A lot. I'm always okay. saying, well, Reality Steve said this. I, I call you, even though you're my friend, and Steve. Yeah. I say, Reality Steve, Reality Steve. I'm sure a lot of people just call you Reality Steve. Yeah, no, it's, I'm fine with reality. Because yeah. if you just said Steve, nobody Steve. would know who you're talking yeah. about. But you're a reality <laughs> yeah. Steve. You're, you're a brand. Yeah. I have some Facebook comments. Okay, go ahead, Jules. Okay, so a lot of people really want to know. They're here to get the scoop on Jared and Ashley. <laughs> yeah, because that, yeah, that happened last night when I tweeted that out. Um, uh, ET Online ran a story about how Ashley said she was open to possibly dating Jared again. Um, they are dating. So, that, I mean, that, that's, and that's what I, I, I tweeted last, out last night that they were back together. Um, a couple people were questioning. I didn't know they were together in the first place. They were always kind of just seemed like friends with benefits or whatever the case was. Um, but uh, they are they are back. You know, I want to say they're back dating. Um, the Bachelor family and all these contestants, they use the word dating very loosely. But mm. I do know that uh, they were at an event on Monday night, this Boohoo thing for some some clothing brand called Boohoo. Okay. You heard them? 
Um, they were at that event uh, on whatever night it was, Monday night. You could see it on Instagram and stuff. Um, and uh, they were uh, all over each other the whole night, and they weren't doing it in private. It was in front of everybody. So um, I was told, like, yeah, they're definitely dating. Um, and then I heard out. I, then I heard some information after I got that that they were Ashley was definitely um, her breakup with Kevin from Winter Games. This whole thing of them saying, "Well, there just wasn't that spark there." I think a lot had to do with the fact that Jared wanted her back, and that led to her decision. I mean, hell, the decision to break up with Kevin was done two weeks ago, and already she's back with Jared. So it's not it's not far fetched to think that. Um, the reason that she's back with or broke up with Kevin was because Jared was waiting in the wings. And It'd be so. a lot easier if people still change their relationship status on Facebook. You know, is that even just a right thing there. Now? I know. I, I haven't seen people do that in a while. I haven't seen it. Only when people like get engaged or married, but I don't see people yeah. saying like in a relationship with this person. Yeah, or complicated or yeah. stuff like that. But I guess it is still on there. Shows you how much. <laughs> shows you how much I've been in a relationship since I've been on Facebook. Since I've never changed it once. Are you? So. Um, are you looking for any dates on social media right now? Can we no. put it out into the universe? I mean, I'm a single man. Um, I don't. Uh, I don't have anybody right now. Um, I, I'm just dating is so iffy with me. There's so many issues. I'm not the easiest person to date. I'll admit it. And All it's right. not because of like my personality or anything. Like, it just has to do with my job and how I like to go about doing things and. Um, I just have had issues in the past with people that date me, and they think all of a sudden they're going to know all the spoilers, and they're going to know all my sources. And Interesting. Do you think people are dating you because they want to get the, the scoop? They act like it. I mean, wow. The ones that I've seen, it's not like, it's just something I have to deal with. I yeah. wouldn't say it's the only reason, but sure, it's something that um, they have to understand that this is a part of my life that's private, yeah. and we could be <clears throat> at dinner or watching TV or something, and like, like I've always said, I'm kind of like a doctor on call. Yeah. I, um, I could get an email, a text, a DM, uh, an Instagram message at any point during the day that I have to you sometimes ha you have attend to. to. Yeah. And yeah, if you're at dinner or whatever and I have to take it, I can't sit there and make a call right there because it could reveal who I'm talking to. So You should change your handle to Dr. Reality Seeker. I know yeah. you, you do that, you yeah. do that but yeah. then it would just be official. <laughs> yeah, it would just be official. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that, that makes it tough. And I think some people have just, some people are kind of put off by that. Which yeah. is, you know, that's fine, but th they wouldn't be for me then. There's someone out there, and we're going to find that person today. Right, yeah. Jules? <laughs> we have another question? We are. Okay. okay. I haven't even gotten to my questions. Let's go. Bring them on. Yeah. Um, Kathy Wood would like to know um, which locations they will be traveling to this season, and also if you know when Paradise will start filming. <clears throat> okay. In terms of the locations... I don't, I don't know yet. I, I don't know yet. Uh, I think I know the next location they're headed to, but I don't know for sure, so I don't want to put it out there come yet. Come on, come on. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know yet. <laughs> Why? They might change it if you say it. <laughs> no, they're, they're, they're set to go, but I don't know if it's the next location or if it's the location after, so I don't want to say anything. Um, but Paradise uh, always films the same time every year. It always films the first week of June. So it'll be, it, air, it starts filming beginning of June, goes for about two and a half weeks, and then it airs right when The Bachelorette uh, is done. So it'll air probably first week of August. While we're talking about Paradise, yeah. someone sent me a message yesterday <clears throat> about Paradise. Do you know who's going to be on Paradise? Well... That was Joanne from Joanne. Just going by past <laughs> cast and how they've cast this show, most of Ari's girls, like any, any of Ari's girls that you think will be on it are going to be on it. I mean, we're talking Becca, Kendall, Tia, CN, Annalise. I mean, just all the girls that are Caroline, all these girls that made a name for themselves yeah. in the season uh, will be on it. And then we'll get a lot of um, uh, Becca's guys that are out there now. That'll They'll end up being on Paradise. Uh, that, that'll make up a majority of the cast. Probably 80% of the cast will be. Becca's guys and Ari's girls. And then a couple stragglers and from then previous seasons. Then they'll pull some, yeah, then like they always do, they'll pull some randos from four or five seasons ago that nobody really remembers. And, um, but yeah, most of the cast is always the Bachelor and Bachelorette cast from that particular calendar year makes up a majority. 
of the Bachelor in Paradise cast. Do you think because of social media, The Bachelor's become more and more popular? Yeah, you know, I was having this conversation. Who was, who was I interviewing or talking to? Yeah, it was my interview with uh, Kristen Baldwin from EW.com that was on the podcast that was released yesterday. We were talking about it. Like, back in the day, we're talking Tristan Ryan season, mm -hmm. Andrew Firestone. Back when the show first started, the ratings were through, like, the ratings were huge yeah. back then. But the show was, it was still in its early going. Right. Now the ratings are lower, but pop culture-wise, this show is part of the pop culture lexicon now. Yeah. Like, it's, it's such a big deal. But then again, ratings, just in general, from 2002 to 2018, everything is smaller right. now because there's so many more options. Yep. So, but it is interesting because back in the day, like, Trista's wedding, I remember, it got like 26 million yeah. viewers. That would be the number one show of the week right now in television. Right. This show, any wedding that they've done in the past, like Sean and Catherine's wedding and Ashley and JP's, those drew like five, yeah. six million. Because it's so routine now. They're happening yeah. all the time. That that's was like the first really big reality wedding. That's, that's a good point. Yeah. It was. And it was also 15 years ago when the TV landscape was completely different. Right. But yeah, it's like the ratings are lower now, but the fact that this show gets mentioned on Star, on Radar, yeah. on Us Weekly, on all the tabloids, it's on the cover... Already had the cover of Us Weekly probably three weeks in a row towards the end of his season. Um, that just makes it more popular. And it's always trending on Monday night uh, on Twitter. Yeah. Just because people are, whether they like it or don't like it, they're tweeting about it. And they're, you know, whatever you want to call it, hate tweeting, yeah. which is essentially what I do. Um, I, I just, it's, it's part of the fabric of reality TV now yeah. because it's been on for Ever. 16 <laughs> years and 30, this is the 36th season now. 22 Bachelors, and Becca's the 14th Bachelorette. Yeah, so that's... Is The Bachelor the most successful reality TV franchise of all time, or is that American it's Idol? Uh, uh, no, in terms of seasons, yeah. no, because Bachelor started before Idol. Um, seasons, Survivor's on 35 or 36, yeah. so they're close. I guess, um, outside of that, I would think, yeah, it's Bachelor and Survivor are the yeah. two longest-running ones, yeah. Well, let's talk about Ari for a second. What do you call we him on to? your website? I was going to say, don't you have another name for him? What do you say? Uh, I, <laughs> I, 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 had, I, had, I had a lot of nicknames. For, yeah. I thought, well, not Peter for a while. Yeah, yeah, that was it. Okay, yes. Yeah, because he was, I mean, let's face it. Peter was supposed to be the Bachelor. He's the one that everyone wanted to be the Bachelor. And it just, it didn't work out with the show. And Peter decided to not do it. I think he got in his own head. And so they chose Ari for God knows what reason. Um, that's, a, that's my first question. So I haven't even gotten to any of my questions yet. My first question was, how did Ari actually become The Bachelor? We don't know. Well, he got lucky he because got Peter, it, didn't, it fell through with Peter, and I think they just went for some splash. Ari was supposed to be, the, not supposed to be, but Ari was in the running, was one of the finalists during Chris Soul's season when mm -hmm. they chose Chris Soul's, and they've always kind of had him there because yeah. they always knew he would do it in a heartbeat. Yeah. And I guess they just went for a splash factor. Mm. And it backfired for most of the season until the finale. And, all right, let's talk yeah. about the finale. So quick 30-second recap of the finale for, for our viewers who didn't watch it, even though I'm pretty sure everyone yeah. watching today watched the finale. Yeah, he, he had gotten engaged at the, end of the, at the end of filming in Peru to Becca. They dated for two months. They had a breakup. Um, and then he took Lauren back, the girl that he dumped. And she, well, I want to say he took her back. She took him back. Let's make the distinction there. How do you feel know. about that whole situation? It's ridiculous. It's so stupid. Like, I don't necessarily think it's stupid that they got back together. Granted, I, I, I know Ari's track record. He's kind of a womanizer. Mm -hmm. well, kind of. He is a womanizer. and Basically, he's cheated on every girl he's ever been with, so why am I going to believe him now? But um, if you want to change, if, you, you know, if he went back and he dated Becca, yeah. they saw each other, things, just he wasn't feeling it with her, he has every right to break up with her. That's fine. Um, the way he did it was poorly done. It broke my heart watching <laughs> that. Like, I, yeah. I was covering my eyes. I'm like, this is so unfair to her. And it was uncomfortable to watch. Yes. Because they showed too much of it. I it understand was... they wanted to do the unedited stuff, but it was 30 minutes of, the, of just her walking down a hallway and him chasing her and then... Just nothing was happening. Yes. It's like, we got, if you want to give us the talk where the split camera, that's fine. Um, but the issue I have with the whole thing is if he wants to go back and take Lauren back, fine. If she wants to take him back and believe him, fine. Um, but why get engaged yeah. now? Why, what's, the, what's the rush? That was like the worst engagement I've ever it was seen. The most that was terrible. proposal in the history of this franchise. Yeah. Um, 
I don't understand why you had to get engaged. Why not just date? Jason, the same thing, this was the same exact repeat of Jason yes. and Molly's yeah. season. But when Jason asked Molly back, they dated for 10 months. Yeah. And then he proposed to her uh, in October of that year. He should have called why, Jason. Why Ari decided to get engaged to somebody af six weeks after he had ended an engagement with somebody else. And why Lauren accepted an engagement from a man who was engaged to somebody six weeks previous. Doesn't make sense. But yeah. it's not my life. Yeah. If that's what they want to do, that's what they do. But I ha I'm allowed to have an opinion on it. And my opinion is... You could have just dated. Yeah, I agree. You know. So Joanne also wants to know how quickly did Becca find out she was going to be the next Bachelorette after the breakup? Because I hope they told her like that day. I'm sure. I, I don't know if they said you're it, but I'm sure they talked to her about it and said, look, this will make a great story. You'll have a great redemption story. Everybody in America will be behind you, which, you know, once I found out it happened and I reported back in January that, look, she's he broke up with her. He's yeah. now dating Lauren. Unless Becca doesn't want this, she's going to be the Bachelorette. It's too good of a story to right. pass up. And so I'm sure she knew. I, what, in terms of the finalizing the contract and if all that, that I don't know. But, what was your reaction when you got the spoiler, when someone got a hold of you and told you what actually happened? What was your reaction? I was like, I was almost kind of happy to a certain extent because I'd been telling people since Ari was announced in January this guy's a dog. Yeah. Like the, he's never going to last with whoever he chooses. And there he was. Couldn't even last two months with a woman that he, he proposed to. So, do you like, think Becca's boyfriend coming on the show had anything to do with him? I think it was an ego thing. Yeah. yeah. I do think that he felt, oh, crap. I'm going to lose her. Um, but I did have Courtney Robertson on my podcast a couple weeks ago, who's really good friends with Ari in Arizona. And she specifically said when Ari got back from Peru, she saw him within a week of him getting back. He told her he felt he made a mistake. So he knew right away. Wow. Which, again, if he knew right away, and Ari has said it in all the post-show interviews that he did, whether it was on with Kelly and Ryan or everything they've done, Kimmel, he basically said, he felt the pressure to propose to somebody. Yeah. If he had his way, he wouldn't have proposed. But, you know, this show revolves around you. You have cameramen and producers that are basically your friends. They all want it to happen for you. So he felt pressured to propose. But, yeah, that was a mistake. He told Becca on the breakup, like, or on the After the Final Rose, like, yeah, that was my mistake. I shouldn't have proposed to you, which I'm sure no woman wants to hear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But... You know, like I said, I don't fault him for breaking up with her. If he, if he wasn't feeling it with her and he could not get Lauren off his mind, he has every right to change his mind and ask her out. But her so willingly ready to accept him back for a guy that did this to her, um, his track record, uh, and then to get engaged so quickly, it's just like, why? Just date him. So you don't think it's going to last? No. Yeah. I just, I, I can't. Ari has been a, he's a single 36-year-old guy. Who has gone? Who has ran through so many women in the Arizona Scottsdale area? <laughs> Why all of a sudden is a girl that he barely knows going to be the, the one. one? You know, I I have no reason to believe it. Like right. if they prove me wrong, they prove me wrong. But how I'm many not, wedding gifts really have you sent to date? Um, let's see: Sean and Catherine, Ashley and JP, Jason and Molly, Des and Chris. Did they all send four. you thank you cards? Yeah, they wow. all, they all sent thank you cards too. Um, well, you brought up Courtney Robertson. So yeah. Caitlin's mom messaged me last night and she said she wants to know, do you think Courtney Robertson is still in love with Ari or is in love with Ari? You know, everyone had heard the podcast. I got a lot of response of that yes mm -hmm. was the answer to that. And I, I, I don't think so. I really don't think that Courtney is in love with him. I think... She is very protective of him, mm -hmm. and she has, she's been good friends with him for years. Um, I think the fact that he owns the house that she lives in plays a role <laughs> in their friendship. Her Venmo mortgage payment every month goes to Ari. I don't think she wants to rock the boat with him. Yeah. Um, so she's going to defend him, and she's going to stick up for him. But do I think she's in love with him and will ever take him back? It's not the impression that I got. Even right. if he breaks up with Lauren... Uh, I don't think Ari and Courtney will ever be a couple and will ever be a serious couple ever again. They might, you know, do the friend thing and hook up whenever. But um, do I think they'll ever go out again? No. I, I, that's not the impression I got from Courtney. And Maggie wants to know, do producers help the Bachelor or Bachelorette eliminate on the first night or does the person actually choose every single person they want? Because how can you really get to know 
28 people. Yeah, no, I think producers are, I mean, you kind of know, I've spoken to a lot of contestants, uh, former contestants on my podcast, even some, some leads, Desiree's been on my podcast, Deanna's been on my podcast, Ben Flanick, and they all said, every single one of them said, I knew who my final four were on the first night. So if you know your Final Four on the first night, everything up leading up to that Final Four is basically a formality. Mm. It's just kind of placing people here, and you're going to get suggestions, suggestions from producers that say, hey, uh, this person's good TV. Let's, let's keep them around for a few episodes. The first night, obviously, meeting 28 people, you don't know. Let's face it. The first night is based on looks yeah. because you don't have enough time to get to know anybody's personality. It's basically who you think is good looking enough that you want to keep around. And that's essentially what the first night becomes. So it's so, more like what happens on Unreal. Yeah. Kind of Are like you that. watching this season? Oh, yeah. What do you think? Yeah. Um, I'm one episode behind, so don't tell me what okay, happened sorry. this past Monday. You didn't miss much. But I, um, it's a very accurate description of what happens. It's an exaggerated yes, version yes. because we've seen some things happen on Unreal that's like, that's never happened. Yeah. On, you know, the, Multiple people the dying. Contestant, yeah, the contestant <laughs> that jumped off the roof yeah. or something like that. But I think... Well, you got to remember, the creator of Unreal was a producer yes. on The Bachelor for nine seasons. Yes. So you know that they're taking their experience um, from working on the show and making it into this TV show. However, I think the funniest thing, and, I, and this came up in Amy Kaufman's book, Bachelor Nation, Amy was on the podcast a couple weeks ago, was this Chet Quinn relationship on Unreal is basically a mirror of when The Bachelor first started with uh, Mike Fleiss and a woman at the time who was the basically the showrunner, uh, Lisa Levinson. And it's that, basically, Chet and Quinn is wow. Fleiss and Lisa Levinson from back when the show first began. She goes, Fleiss always brought his dog on set, was wore flip-flops, smoked pot all the time, and Lisa Levinson was this hard-ass woman that was trying to make the show run, and Fleiss was just like, hey, let's just, you know, whatever. Kind of like Chet is on the show. And Quinn's the hard ass, and he go, it's it's really it's really interesting. Um, but like I said, Unreal is certainly an exaggerated version of what we see on on The Bachelor. I'm not liking this season as much as I've liked uh, the previous two seasons. Really, you yeah. don't like the female Bachelor, like the lead? I I'm just not loving all the storylines this season. Okay. I'm not as into it as I was before. I'm still watching it because once I start something, I'm very dedicated. I have to finish it. Mm -hmm. um, but. But yeah, it's not it's not doing it for me this season. It will. It'll turn. I, It'll turn I'm around. Sure, yeah, you I, feel good I'm, about it, Joel? Do we have more questions? Um, people want to know when you will be posting Becca's spoilers. Um, I mean, they're coming at all times. Uh, today, in particular, um, today's there, there's a group date in uh, that I'll have information on. But since I'm out of town, I'll have to tweet it out. So follow me on Twitter today. Later on at some point today, we're three hours ahead of what's happening back there. So i got to figure out what time that'll be. You have to say follow me on Twitter yeah, and hold follow, your sign. Follow me on Twitter uh, at Reality Steve for today's information on today's date. I know it's being filmed in Ventura. Um, and I don't know what time it starts. So I have, it's hard to know when I'm going to get stuff. Like I said earlier, it's like... At any point, I could get a text or a DM or an email like, hey, here's Did I ask you this already? Do you know who got the first impression rose? I do. Can you share? I cannot. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I, I, I cannot because it's somebody that I haven't released on my site yet. So if I say the name, nobody would know who it is. And honestly, I, yeah, I can't because I haven't released them on my site yet. Kesha, but, are we back on? We're back on, all right. Yeah. We're having some serious technical difficulties today. Did they miss that, did they miss that whole thing where I it would, No, it's, it's almost like it actually went dark right when you said, I cannot, uh, I cannot let you know okay. who got the first impression rose. You did that on purpose. Dramatic Really? You can't? What does their name start with? A letter? Yeah. <laughs> um, you I, can't I, come on Social Live <laughs> and not give one breaking spoiler that no one knows yet. Because that's really the only, that would really be the only spoiler that's, that nobody knows because everything else has been pretty public. Yeah. And I can't do it just because I haven't released the guy yet. I haven't released him as a contestant. I've released 14 of her 28 guys. But what if you said the first letter of that person's name? And then when we promote Social Live, we can say, Reality Steve released 
the first letter of the name of the person who got the first impression rose because Gene Gallagher is on Facebook asking who it is. Can I say that the letter, the first letter of his first name is in the first half of the alphabet? How about that? Um, no, Joel's just saying no. It's not going to do it. What is, I mean, Gotta give us something. Okay. Gotta give it's, it. We can't, end, we can't end the show and it's, tell It's in the first half of the alphabet, so that's every letter up to M. Um, it's one of those. So you're down to 13 letters There's now. 13 letters. Yeah. Okay. I think we've got the best spoiler of all time <laughs> on, uh, on Social Live. Uh, wait, I see uh, another question here. Uh, Maggie says, I knew someone on The Bachelor that didn't want to do what the producers said regarding getting out of the limo. So she was instantly eliminated. Does this happen to them often? I'd say so. Um, you know, when you cast 28, 30 people... As producers, you pretty much know, I think they have an idea of who's going to last long. Mm -hmm. And you know there are people every season that are, there's going to be a crop of seven to nine that are going home the first night. And I think producers know. So that person might have already been someone that's basically uh, uh, what we call filler. Mm -hmm. That they knew they weren't going to last long. It, did, it certainly didn't help that they didn't want to go along with what the producers suggested. And yeah, it's, it's almost like a game. You kind of have to play the game if you want to last on this show. If you just... Want to do your own thing and be the quiet person that says, no, I don't want to tell you this in an ITM, or no, I don't want to, I don't want to do this, or your suggestion, you're probably not going to last. It's yeah. just Because they got to make a good, they got to make compelling, entertaining TV. And that's what they're after. They're not after finding Becca a husband. Mm -hmm. They don't care if Becca, find, if, if she does, it's a bonus to them. Uh, there will be a proposal at the end of this. You know it's going to happen. Mm -hmm. It's happened, um, I think 21 of the last 22 seasons have ended in an engagement. So it's not like... The engagement thing is a surprise anymore. It's going to happen. Um, but I think to do that, you, you, you have your filler contestants. And not, without knowing who that person was, they might have been filler already, so it wouldn't have mattered if they would have gone along with Maggie, it. if you're still watching, comment who the person was and <laughs> yeah. see, if we'll, see if we'll tell us. All right, so no other, no other special spoilers we can reveal? Nothing? I can't. I'm trying to think. Got nothing? If we were deeper into filming, I'd, yeah. I'd be able to. We're eight mm. days in, and they've only had when one. Are back, when are you back in New York dates. next? Yeah. Um, uh, I don't know. This, I mean, this trip was... This could be it, guys. This could be it. <laughs> I got you the first well, here, letter. Here's the thing. Well, here's one thing. I mean, here's one thing that you can keep in mind for future possible trips. Like, every single one of my relatives lives in New York. We're, we're the only members of our family that ever moved... West. So every grandparent, every aunt, uncle, cousin I have lives here in New York. So, I mean, I'm back here this weekend uh, because of the death of someone in my family. Sorry. And that is the memorial services tomorrow. And I have, um, you know, gra grandparents are getting older. Yeah. So, I mean, it's... It, I'll, I'll probably be back here sometime. Well, I hope you're not back for that reason. I hope you're back for for fun. Jules, yeah. we have one last question. We have a good one, or should I do one of mine? I I barely got to. I bear, I'm going to get to one of our fan questions here that we didn't ask. We asked that one. Oh, okay. This is what I need to ask you. A friend of mine, Carrie Kirpin, who was on Social Live a few weeks ago. Her daughter, Charlotte, loves Reality Steve and loves The Bachelor, so I just need you to give a nice shout-out to Charlotte Kirpin. I told Carrie to take her out of school to bring her here today. But take her out of school? What is she, middle school? High school? She's in middle school. Oh, she, so like, we're yeah, talking I, like a sixth oh, grader no. or seventh grader? Or? I think seventh. I'm not positive, okay. but I said, oh, you should take her out of school and come meet Steve today, but <laughs> she's not, so we well, can give her a shout-out. Well, shout-out to Charlotte. Yeah. Um, do your homework. Stay in school. Don't do drugs. Um... Keep watching. Keep, keep watching. Keep re reading. Keep, keep yeah. reading. And then keep watching Social Live for whenever the next time I am in town. And um, yeah, so shout out to what, Charlotte Kirpin. Charlotte Kirpin, yes. And thank you guys so much for tuning in. And thank you for coming and giving us at least one sort of spoiler. <laughs> and you guys can follow Steve everywhere at Reality Steve. He will be releasing new spoilers today as he gets them. Yes. At Twitter. Reality Steve on Twitter. Have a good weekend. We'll see you guys for another episode on Wednesday. Bye, everyone.